Hello everybody, welcome to the Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old. And today I'm talking about album number 7 from a guy called Gerald, Proto Acid, The Berlin Sessions. Okay, we're making it into the home stretch for this series. One more label change for Gerald, no longer on Studio K7, and now contributing to a much smaller scale Berlin-based label called Laboratory Instinct. Said label no longer even has a website, and Gerald was easily the highest profile name to release anything on it, so, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> we're getting into the kinds of releases that not many people listen to or know about. So, as you may surmise from the first half of this album title, uh, this was a project where Gerald decided he wanted to return to his roots and make some very straightforward, no-nonsense acid techno. We're quite firmly out of the game-changing phase of Gerald's career. It's 2006, he's kind of just decided he has this legacy behind him, and he's gonna focus on the kind of stuff that he's well-known for helping pioneer decades ago. Kind of like the rest of 808 State did, like, over a decade later, back in 2019, with their last comeback album, Transmission Suite. But on the other hand, this project also isn't a rehash of New Build or Hot Lemonade or anything. It still definitely has a feel to it that isn't like any of Gerald's previous albums. As you may surmise from the second half of the title, this project was originally conceived as a live concert that he performed in Berlin. It may technically be separated into 24 different tracks, but they all come together in a single 56 minute continuous mix. And the various tracks on here don't have a ton of easily recognizable identity, they just feel like different points on Gerald's big meandering journey through acid techno. It seems fitting that on Bandcamp is just presented as one single track. This is not going to be a long review or the kind of project where I'm going to have a lot to say about, like, the individual parts that go into it, given how most of it is made up of pretty much all the same ingredients. I'll even be honest and say the majority of it kind of falls in the background for me, and no single texture or synth pattern or beat on here really sticks out on in my mind as, as that memorable. Though at the same time, I also have to make it clear that I had a ton of fun with this, and it didn't wear out even the slightest bit with repeat listens. Purely from the standpoint of, like, pacing and structure and just overall construction, Proto Acid might have been his strongest work up to this point. No sound ever gets stale, Gerald gradually changes the sounds up at just that perfect rate to keep everything consistently investing, and, like, it constantly has a well-defined direction and knows exactly where it's going. It's not like New Build where the arrangements are super repetitive and tracks are basically just the same loop stretched out for 5-6 minutes. It's like one big constantly evolving piece that brings in new patterns every few seconds. Not to mention the production is spot on as well. All these sounds are well balanced and fit perfectly into the mix and sound great. If you are a fan of just no-nonsense acid techno, this is some really freaking solid stuff. I suppose I'll do my best to break down individual tracks, though like I said, not every track on here is going to give me something to say. Most of them blend together by design and don't really call attention to themselves. Well, that's not to say there weren't highlights and lowlights, but in terms of lower points, there's even less to say. Maybe the opening track, Marching Powder, is a bit harsh sounding or off-putting as an intro, and didn't feel like this project really got into its groove until the second segment, The Strip. Though that opener does also let you know what to expect from, like, a tonal perspective and the aesthetic that he's going for. Maybe there's a track here and there like Clock or Robo Groover, which kind of feels like it had a weaker and less memorable groove than whatever came before it. Maybe the penultimate track, Voltar, did get a bit meandery and repetitive, not sticking out despite being seven minutes and markedly longer than all the other tracks here, which are mostly around two minutes, if not even shorter. To say that this project has no material that feels like filler would not fully be accurate, but more often than not, moments like these I don't even notice in the first place. They just fit into the mix naturally, and there will be a track that'll come in immediately afterwards that will hit more effectively than a more fillery cut. And there are definitely plenty of moments that would stick out to me a bit more like that. I already mentioned second track, The Strip, being the point at which this album really kicks into gear for me with its bubbling bass lines and drilling pads all over the 909s. Not to mention that one fake fade out. Also love the way these spacey robotic grooves evolve through the run of the tracks Space 1999, Droid, and Nasty. Uh, there's a track called Transition, which is more attention-grabbing than its title implies. Um, has some of these dark, bassy pads running through it that create some cool atmosphere. And the way it builds into the off-kilter but oddly addicting blipping melodies of Andromeda. And going in through a nice, meaty four-and-a-half-minute segment called Monday, which does in fact have a few shifting phases to it, as well as this kind of interestingly chilly open-air ambience to it. 
the bumped segment, meanwhile, has some particularly deep and grooving bass lines over its synth melodies that evolve from being very TB303-ish into sounding more video game-like. A texture which does fittingly work into the grooves of the following plaything segment. Though the melodies and textures on that one feel like they're developed uh, into an even more engaging degree on Merlo Brogham. <laughs> Uh, which also brings in, like, these really fun breakbeats in the second half that would always stick out to me in the best way. X-Ray has its cold and windy and dark pads and melodies going over those same breakbeats, as well as this vocal sample saying, Automanic, which was reprised from the much earlier Auto Rebuild segment. Nice little throwback reference to his sophomore album there. Feel the Heat has among the best bass lines in the bunch, as well as those ghostly high-pitched melodic stabs that do fittingly give me those early 808 state vibes. The goopy acid synths of Schizoid and sparse and spooky textures of Night Flight are fun as well. And obviously there are plenty of other tracks that deliver on the same kinds of appeals as these tracks. Uh, but the closer Sweet You has to be highlighted in particular as it has a markedly different feel from the rest of the album. A lot more bright and uplifting and refreshing in its mixes of melodic synths. The drum beats have much more of this shuffling, jazzy sort of feel that contrasts with all the 808s and 909s that the rest of the album focused on. There's even some old-school 90s house pianos that give it a bit of a classy finish. Really nice way to go out. Yeah, this album is just a lot of fun to listen to from beginning to end. I may be on the fence on whether I consider it properly great. Not every moment is as attention-grabbing as the next, and the whole experience can be rather ephemeral. All kind of disappears from my mind as soon as it's done. But at the same time, for any of you techno purists out there, I can't imagine this won't deliver anything you'd want out of a project out of this style. It may not have my own undivided attention all the way through, but it's really one of those projects where the more I think about it, the more I like it. And, like, just mentally comparing it to a project going for that similar kind of retro appeal like 808 States Transmission Suite. That project may certainly be hookier, but the construction on and pacing on this one just blows that one out of the water. The production and the way it's all put together is just immaculate. I can't guarantee this album is going to be everyone's thing. If you're not into these kinds of old-school techno styles and we're looking for something with a bit more immediacy, this might end up boring you, but... Yeah, to heck with it. Uh, I think Gerald really killed it on this one, and uh, I'll let it get away with a solid 8 out of 10. But of course, this is just my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with it, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave the comments in the comment thing down there. Shout out to my Patreon supporters. They're awesome people. You want to add yourself that list or make me review something, link to my Patreon is in the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for today. See you next time.